It is done. We should inform the others. Decide our next move. So, when the Nords told you Heimdall was gonna try and kill me, that's what your spear's for, isn't it? It is. Heimdall's a jerk, but that's not who you are anymore, right? A god killer? You don't want war. No. But I will do what it takes to keep you safe. Great! It's open! Maybe we can use the sigils to freeze the gear up there. Falco! Father, if you can't trust the faith, why do you care what they say? When it comes to your life, I can take no chances. I have it. What's wrong? Without you, I got reckless, overconfident, made stupid mistakes. I don't know why I thought I could do this alone. You were right. No. On our journey together. You have grown into a warrior, worthy of your namesake. I was the one who was not ready. You don't have to be who you were just because I'm not there. Let's make a promise. I'll listen for your voice in my head when you're not there to guide me. And you do the same. All right? I need to know you'll be okay without me. Don't be sorry, Father. Be better. Let's go home.
nothing is written that can't be unwritten. Remember? We shouldn't let prophecy define our choices. Then we will make our own destiny. Did you want to take care of anything before going back to Sunday? No. Series? First, we retrieve Mamir. Then you can tell us what you learned in Asgard. After that, we shall see. You really do think of him as a brother. What about Freya? Seems like she moved in while I was away. Once she turned her hatred back to Odin, she recognized our interests were aligned. Huh. I tried convincing her of that, but... When was that? Oh. Before I started telling you where I was that night. I see. Hey, she didn't kill me. I said nothing. back. How did it go? We should travel us no further. Well, that's our bloody relief. So you put down old Garm, did you? Yeah, sort of. Atreus, your decision to go to Asgard after all he's put us through. I'll never understand it. But I hope you at least came back with something we can use. I hope so, too. Come on, let me show you what Odin's up to. Here's what he cares about most. More than Ragnarok or anything, is this mask. Anyone recognize it? That thing? Ugh, oh, it's a dead end. He's been faffing around with that since before I knew him. To be honest, I thought the giants were just having a laugh with that one. Okay, fine. No. You're wrong, Mimir. This mask is no fraud. The giants didn't make it, and only a few of them ever glimpsed it in their visions. They never knew its origin, but some believed it was a way to gaze into the secrets of creation itself. Is it an oracle? Much, much more. Imagine becoming one with a source of infinite knowledge. This? This is why Odin tortured me. So what do you think? Know it? No. It's one obsession he never saw fit to share with me. But I'll tell you this. Even when Odin speaks the truth, his purpose is false. Either way, it's a mistake to let it distract us. Is Heimdall our focus or not? We will rewrite our fate another way. Then I'm going back to Vanaheim. If we're not taking the fight to Odin, I should help my brother stand against him. We will join her when we can. I'm gonna study my notes on the mask, see if I can think of a plan. But if you want to go anywhere, I'm with you. And listen, everyone, I'm really sorry about the way I left. You know I've never hurt any of you on purpose. Well, when you can turn into a bear by accident, I suppose these things can happen. So, do you forgive me? Of course, Atreus. We know you meant no harm, lad. Sandry? I'm sure I will. Eventually. Okay. Guess I'll take it. While we're clearing the air, I hope that I can be forgiven for not doing more when the Hellwalkers attacked. Whatever reservations I have about violence, they shouldn't apply when your home is under attack. And certainly not by undead abominations. Yet I reached for a shield 
instead of a sword. You are right to chide me for that, old friend. The next time the moment calls me, I'll be ready. Well said, Tia. I believe you just might. Hey, wait. We're with you. Great. Are you gonna check in on Freya? Yes. Glad I get to come this time. So what happened the last time you were in Van Arm? I still don't know how you got Freya to We traveled to, to her village to break Odin's spell. Once freed, she accepted that I was not her enemy. You also missed a highly entertaining moment where Brock was lifted ass over face in Freya's camp. You met Freya? What's he like? Different from his sister. Lacks her conviction. True. And he's a bit quicker to forgive. And an ineffective leader. But his heart's in the right place. You'll like him, lad. Also dangerous. More dangerous than hell? Hey, is that soundstone on that log? I could get us past it. Barricade wasn't there last time. Prayer's group has been busy. to the right. No rush, is there? Not every day the lad gets to see a new realm. To Freya's camp, then. Time to see how the Vanir have fared in our absence. I hope Freya's okay. She can care for herself. We're still checking on her, though? Her brother's forces are outnumbered, and there is much I owe her. everyone stay alert I don't like this brother
Kratos. Atreus. A welcome reunion. Unexpected, but welcome. You know us? Can't be. Is that who I think? Oh, you shifty bastard. It's almost good to see you again. And for once in the shape of a man. Or nearly. So that's how they got your head out of your ass. Maybe now you'll stop being such a half-blind, piss-drunk, oversexed liar. He was more of a pig than I ever was. I do not know you. Do you not recognize your handiwork? Hildis Vini! Remember when we first met Frey in the woods? After I... Oh... I am so... so sorry about that. Freya's boar. Her advisor. And friend. Counselor to the Vanir. And yes, while exiled at Midgard, I was trapped in my boar form. And then you shot me. At my command. No. My arrow, my mistake. Forgotten. Vanaheim needs our help more than ever. Even Mimir's. Come. Just watch where you aim that bow of yours. My hide's not so thick in this form. We can head out whenever you're ready. Where are we going? I have a favor to ask. I'll explain on the way. Where's Freya? She came here to help her brother. She leads the search party for Freya and Bigvir. They've been captured by the Ainher Yard. Hey, that happened. An ambush. The presence has intensified since your last visit. To make matters worse, the Celestial Wolves haven't been seen in days. Or at least I assume. Not easy, tracking time with no moon in the sky. No moon. Just like in their shrine. Their shrine? It's a long story. You want us to check on them? I have my gratitude. We're spread thin. And if anyone can help Skoll and Hati, he'd be a fellow giant. Very well. Freya mentioned you had a way past this. this path and you'll find their dead. Good luck. And don't shoot any more. <laughs> you think he's really forgiven me for shooting him? Trust me, lad. The old swine still carried a gun. <gasps> You'd know it. What happened between you two? The usual. Miscommunication, conflicting <laughs> loyalties, broken promises. Nothing to concern yourself. <laughs> I'm not concerned. Just curious. Curiosity's all well and good. But so was privacy, huh? Okay, okay. Point taken. Oh, 
and feels so different from the other realms. It's warm, like Svartalfan, but there's a kind of thickness in the air. Hmm. Egros. Uh, what? Egros. Greek. For humid. Egros. I like it. <clears throat> the Noke is making these things stronger! <laughs> Here, 
Stay alert. Wonder where they went. Beaten by a knockin', perhaps. Doubtful. You know, lad, this excursion into Vanaheim means you've now visited each of the Nine Realms. Huh. I guess you're right. Not many mortals can claim such a feat. Not many gods, either. Even your father has yet to grace the halls of Asgard. I'm in no hurry to do so. I think... Odisvini said both Frey and Bigvir were captured. Bigvir's the Light Elf who wanted to learn more about that library in Alfheim, right? Correct. An exiled scholar married to a warrior, Bela. Why was he exiled? You'll have to ask him for the full tale. But I take it that he and Bela's quest to unite their people was frowned upon. Wait, Bela's a Dark Elf? Yes. Wow. Well, that raises even more questions. He's okay. Sense them up there. It's gotta be their den. Excited to meet Skull and Hattie, lad. I mean, I've heard all your stories. It's gonna be weird meeting them in person. Legend meeting reality. At the very least, it shouldn't fail to entertain. <laughs> uh, hello? I think they're sleeping. Well, there you have it. The legendary celestial wolves. Supremely entertaining, as promised. Remember their shrine? They didn't rejoin the sky until after the moon returned. And then chased an arrow across the sky. Right. Well, guess we go find the moon and put it back where it belongs, eh? As if that's a perfectly normal thing to say. The Aenor Yar played a part according to Skull and Hati's shrine. Managed to stuff the moon inside a box, if memory serves. But it didn't say where they took the box. Aye. That's the rub of using prophecy as a map, isn't it? Bit sparse on the details. There's a war camp in the nearby village. A strong fortress to guard their bounty. We will try there first. So besides Hildesvini and the elves, who else is part of the <gasps> Not much army, really. <clears throat> Although Beer Girl was a soldier, once walking the path of a traveler, I imagine he's handy with that enormous broken sword up his. A traveler that doesn't want to kill us. That's nice. Ain't no your head. I'm ready. Yeah? Correct. 
There she is again. Guess they know we're coming. I can't believe no one's here. They hide. The Vanir aren't all hardened warriors like our dear Freya. Those who survive the warfare find it easier to hide in the jungle and use nature as their shield. This wall, when I bring it down, we strike. Yep. Where'd they all go? Wait, there's the moon. Uh, oh, down there. This is definitely an ambush. Yes. Look out! Oh. Shield strike! There! Dent in Odin's forces, at least for the time being. I don't think Asgard's running out of soldiers.
Ready to put the moon back where it belongs? Okay, yeah. That is a weird thing to say. Times the charm. They are not smart. I understand that. You know, what we're doing right now, all of this, it's almost exactly how we saw it play out back in Skull and Hathi Shrine. The wolves are back in Vanaheim. We're rescuing the moon. Yes. I remember the prophecy. So, doesn't it make you worried? If everything we're doing now happened in the Yotnar Shrine? Remember our agreement. Prophecy will not dictate our actions. Yeah. Our allies need help. That is our focus now. Brother, we've taken a wrong turn. Our feet's gone skyward. <sighs>
gold. Is this? It's from Helheim. Heimdall must have grabbed this while I freed Garm. Ugh. I was there, but I, I didn't know. And now you fight to undo the damage. Your guilt is misplaced. Yeah. No, you're right. We can return to the den through here. They will pursue. Keep your guard up. Father, how are you so sure we even have a choice about what we're doing? Doubt is a weakness we cannot afford. Who said anything about doubt? So far, we've done everything the giant said to you. We make our own choices. Nothing forces us. Walking straight into Ragnarok. Isn't there any way to avoid fate? Your fate? What if we can't stop you from. Would you turn your back on the wolves? On this realm? Remember our agreement. The lad does make some good points, though. As long as Atreus lives, so be it. There's nothing. like inside their shrine. If I do this... Fate only binds you if you let it. Do what is necessary. Not because it is written. to call them anytime we need them. Remember that altar we saw when we first got here? I think that's where we're supposed to use it. Perhaps Freya will know. So in essence, they just gave us the keys of dusk till dawn. Not bad for a day's work. We should head back to Hodespini and tell him about all this. Yeah? Yes. Back to the camp.
earlier, was it? No. They come back fast, but not that fast. In Asgard, what else did you see of Odin's army? Well, all these Anhuriar we've been fighting, they've already died in battle once. We kill them here, and they'll just wake back up in Valhalla. They never truly die. Should it come to war, we do well to have our own endless army of dead soldiers. You mean Helheim's army, like the prophecy said. It will not come to that. the egros. <gasps> we can get across from up here.
So, we report back to Hildes Fini. Then what? We came here to help Freya. We will not leave without rescuing her brother and the Light Elf. Okay, but Odin's not gonna stop searching for mask pieces. That is his concern, not ours. Sure, but if that mask offers all the answers... Then it will surely exact a price. Be wary of shortcuts to knowledge. Yes, Father. <laughs> All the plants here want to kill us? No, no. Only the carnaptious ones. That wrinkly mug belongs to Helka. She's a blossender. Hounds prized for their pinpoint accurate tracking abilities. You'll love her. Kratos, Atreus. That eclipse was your doing, I take it. Thank you for coming. Big Vir used the diversion to escape. What about your brother? We know where they're holding him now. Bela's already prepped the explosives. If you're with me, we can leave as soon as you're ready. I could use another shapeshifter's help. Go with him, Atreus. I will aid Freya. Yes, sir. The fuse is but 30 heartbeats. That's enough. Once you see the signal, count it down. The wolves gave us a scepter. They will answer, should we call on them. Good. There's a shortcut to Njord's temple we can use in daylight. The Einher Yar are holding Freya in your father's own temple. It's been empty for as long as I can remember. There's a celestial altar across the river. According to Bigvir, the altars were once used to signal the wolves. And now we have just the scepter to do it. What is your plan? When we reach the temple, I'll fire off the beacon. A signal for Bela and Birger to set off their distraction. The Dark Elf Hive. Nice to not be on the receiving end of it for once. With their attention drawn elsewhere, you and I can assault the main force from behind. While Atreus and Hildesfini slip in to rescue your brother in the confusion. Yes. 
Once we see their beacon, we'll regroup by the river and escape on Freyr's boat. That wisp is replicating! <laughs> Oh! 
They've rallied more soldiers since our last visit. Mm. Our disadvantages are many. <laughs>
Try dragging the scepter across the bell a few times. Come on, we're making good time. What are you doing? The bridge only grows in the daylight. I... I wanted to see the wolves again. I suppose they are grateful for the attention. <laughs> okay, you've seen them. Now call back Hottie and let's go. Lady Freya, read any good books lately? in this realm follow the prophecy of the giants. Atreus believes Ragnarok is inevitable. The Norns were quite clear on the nature of prophecy. They told us that some of our choices were predictable. But we have changed. <laughs> <laughs> you'd kill Heimdall, but you chose not to walk that path. Back when we first met, I doubt you'd have done the same. And you? Do you still seek Ragnarok? Odin has much to answer for. If Groa's prophecy is correct, perhaps my realm can finally know peace. Perhaps I can know peace. Forgive me for being a head on a belt, but haven't we all just established how prophecy is pure havers? God, Samir. What? The most annoying man alive. More up ahead. On your mark. Come above! Fight, Lord! <laughs> 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 
Careful, that's the Alpha. Tough fight. This way. Alas, we're on the It was in our way. I, I don't doubt it. Curious, though. What was she doing here? Odin used roots of the World Tree as part of his spell that kept me from leaving Midgard. Neathhoke protects the tree's roots, wherever they are. Ah, I see. Odin used her. And she unwittingly paid the price. Classic Odin. Extra noise once the assault begins. If we distract them long enough, Hildespini and Atreus will have more than enough time to get in and out undetected. I am not worried for Atreus. He is ready to fight on his own. This is it. There's an altar behind these vines. Kratos. They're all waiting on us.
Call on Skull, please. Are you ready? I am. Are you? I'm not leaving here without my brother. <clears throat> We're coming for you, Ingvi. position <laughs> what idiots no oh. if it isn't queen mistletoe herself hilarious by the way been a while i'm dull <laughs> and you must be the little half breed's father lucky day <laughs> You have a lot to answer for, Sunshine. You too, traitor. Better a traitor than Odin's lapdog. Hmm. <laughs> well, the burden is mine. I can help. I know. But you are needed elsewhere. He's right, you know. Sizzles wasn't looking so hot last I saw. I know you didn't want this. But we know how this ends. See you soon. Well, we both know that's not true. <laughs> but don't worry, Frigg. I'll be coming for you and your brother as soon as I am finished. Here. Now. What you got? <laughs> What did Cool Toe Forever do to you? Have some my On me! Come on! Come on, animal! So aggressive, so angry. Really? You are the one who killed Balder? Oh, wait! 
You expected the stick to give you an advantage? Satisfying. What now, brother? This pair remains our best chance. Ah! Well, I'm waiting. Oh, no, 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 no. 
You are going to spare me out of pity! <laughs> Let it go, you may live. Is this about the little runt? Oh, now I am definitely going to cut him! <laughs> This is your final warning. I don't think a warning is going to cut it. You think you get to just walk away? No. That is not how this works. <laughs> You do not get to decide my fate! You are dead, sunshine. You are in way over your head! Slow down! Don't you know who I am? I am the Watchman of the Aesir, the Herald of Ragnarok! I am going to find that little mongrel of yours and beat his face into a pulp! Only one of us is walking away from this. And as sure as shit will not be you. How dare you try and spare me? I am growing very sick of Huh! 
Kratos, that was just... Uh, I don't know if we are breaking fate, or fate's breaking us.
A little help? At least the rescue's going well.
I will carry you. You what? No, I can make it. You cannot. Ow, ow, ow! Easy! To me! Follow! We, uh, got company back here. Oh, no. Okay, okay. Uh, we're on. Archer's ahead! Oh, seriously? Hold them for long. Whoa. Of course. There's this one here. Freya's boat. They will regroup. We should go. seeing your faces. <laughs> Relax. It's flying. We're flying. I knew we would do that. Look out! 